you'll see here is the, the speed dial page. So it has nine of your top sites that you yep. select, and you have thumbnails for each one. So you can click through with one touch and go to the ad for the New York Times. Uh, and what you'll see too is, is the UI. It's a one-step zoom. Okay. So you, you just simply touch where you want to start reading. And then a single tap then? Single tap, right. Okay. Uh, so no multi-touch. No multi-touch, no multi okay. So you can scroll around the page. What you'll notice we do is we actually format the text so it actually appears, the column is kind of central on the screen. So when you, okay, sure. So you can actually touch where on the page you want to start reading. And Opera Mini will bring you right to that. And so you can immediately begin reading. Sure. Um, now what sort of uh, text select options do you have for this? Are you able to? You have a long click. Okay. And you have a long click, and then that brings up the oh, text selection. very nice. And you okay. can search it with, so you can use one of the pre-selected search engines if okay. you want. Okay, sure. The other thing to note here, um, you have the find-in page. Oh, that's great. And you can go through to your different options, the different dimensions of the word. Sure. Wow, okay. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? You have tabs. One touch to add the tab. How many tabs do you support? As many as it'll do? Or? As many as, as you can do. There right. shouldn't be any degradation in performance based on the number of tabs. Right. Uh, and of course, you can just you can just move through the tabs. Oh, that's pretty slick. And the other thing to note, too, is, let's see. Here's a preview of Opera Mini for the iPhone. Now if I close out of the app, okay, I bring it back up. Even on a right it remembers there. my session. Very nice. So you don't really lose where you were on the web. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can always come back to it. Same and thing with all of your tabs. So what sort of support for uh, you know plugins and embedded stuff? You know, if there's uh, you know Flash or if there's a link to a YouTube video or something, what happens then? Right. Opera Mini typically, uh, what it does is it, it offloads to the media player on the phone. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we attempt to do in most cases. We don't support Flash in Opera Mini, right. uh, mainly because the transcoding you know, would be very heavy on the server. Sure. Sure. So uh, it does not support Flash, but it does enable you to do a lot of things you typically would with web content. Take a look at the settings here. So bookmarks, nice history. Go back to the start page. Save pages. So, so is that safe for uh, offline reading? Exactly. Very nice. Okay. Very cool. Do you mind if I hit the settings here? Absolutely. And well, you'll notice we also have Opera Link, which is our synchronization feature. Okay. So you can synchronize your bookmarks, your speed dial with the Opera on the desktop mm -hmm. or other um, installations of Opera Mini that you might have. Um, you can obviously change the font size, image quality. So if you want to um, load pages a little bit faster, you can reduce the quality of the right. images, things like that. There's a full screen mode as well. So uh, you guys have announced that you've submitted it to Apple for the, for the App Store today? Today we submitted it. Okay. And um, you're just, you're hoping, you're praying, your fingers are crossed? Well, we, we believe, uh, we're, we actually have quite a bit of conviction that it, it should be approved. We believe that we don't violate any of their SDK terms. Okay. Uh, we believe it's a it's a different experience to Mobile Safari in that it doesn't really compete as much as it complements Mobile Safari. Um, so and also, you know, it uh, it doesn't run native code. So okay. because it's basically uh, using a server right. in between, it doesn't really have any of the. It's not running or interpreting native code on the phone. So we believe it's got every uh, chance of being approved. And so it looks like it. Identifies identifies itself as as Opera Mini. Ooh, yes. Looks like I broke it. Well, tried to go. Well, I tried to load a cookie because I, I went to uh, our, our Tippy site and uh, I hit the cookie to give us the full site, so it didn't, didn't pull up. Let's see here. Yeah. So I went here. Even on a two G. See, maybe it take the cookie this time. As you can see, opening up new web pages. Yeah. Okay. It's clicking easy. It's fast though. Do you see Opera Mini loading five pages at the same time? It better be fast. <laughs> uh, I mean, because Opera Mini reduces the page size by about ninety percent. Sure. So we're actually doing quite a bit of compression. 
Okay, so it takes you to the mobile YouTube. Very nice. Okay. All right. Well, this is Dieter Bone for Tippy.com taking a look at Opera Mini on the iPhone.